Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel announced today that her office would be charging 16 Republicans that were um, allegedly involved with a fake elector plot following the 2020 election in Michigan. Included in the 16 Republicans charged are Mashawn Maddock, who is a former co-chair of the Michigan Republican Party. She served from 2021 uh, and stepped down earlier this year. Also included is Republican National Committee woman Kathy Burden from Michigan and um, Shelby Township Clerk Stan Grott. Also included is a Wyoming mayor. Kent Vanderwood, and then it's a it's a collection of lawyers, um, a you know, wide variety of other people included in the charges. He's not polished. He's not uh, a perfect speaker. But the group of sixteen is accused of trying to falsely claim that Donald Trump had won the state of Michigan, which was won by now President Joe Biden by more than a hundred thousand votes. So the 16 um, are allegedly met at the then headquarters of the Michigan Republican Party and signed certificates and sent them to the Senate um, and other places claiming that Trump had won the state, allegedly. He won Michigan, and that was a great, big, fat, beautiful victory. You know that. Following the 2020 election, former President Donald Trump claimed that he had won Michigan and also pointed to what he claimed were um, ballot stuffing and other measures in Detroit. Um, he had targeted Detroit for a lot of his misinformation and lies following the 2020 election. And he had pushed many in the state to claim that the election was stolen in Michigan. Um, Maddock especially has been a close ally of Trump saying this year that she plans to help Donald Trump one win re-election. Um, and it has really been, Michigan has really been a political playground for Donald Trump in spreading a lot of his misinformation. Electors are people appointed to represent the voters uh, in presidential elections. The winner of the popular, popular vote in the state determines which party sends its electors to Electoral College. So in Michigan, now President Joe Biden won the state by 154,000 votes. The Republican electors tried to claim that Donald Trump won the election, and they signed certificates claiming this that were sent to the Electoral College. All 16 face eight charges. Um, the charges span from five years, uh, a maximum of five years, all the way up to 14 year charges for each count. Um, and there's multiple counts. Um, they're claiming everything from forgery to forgery in election um, and to conspiracy for forgery. And there's a wide variety, but the, the maximum ones carry a 14 year potential penalty. In her statement, Attorney General Nessel said that she felt the fake electors had um, spread misinformation and also undermine the public's faith in the election system 